If you want to give your assets a totally unique look, just using a super customizable material. So, first, open the Epic Games launcher. Open the launcher, go to Unreal Engine, go to Library, and just click the plus sign and add any version of Unreal you want. Like, preferably the latest. Preferably the latest version. You know, I already have 5.2 installed, 5.1, 5.0, 27, 26, and 24. Um, so yeah, any of those versions will do as long as it's a, you know, compatible with the, and you're just gonna wanna create a new project. So, we're gonna launch 5.1 real quick, real easy. You're gonna wanna click on games, uh, just to like be a bit faster. We're just gonna open a blank project, uh, pick where you want the your thing to be. Let's rename it uh, asset import project. So it's a matter that this thing is starter content. You can put that, I guess. I'm not gonna use it. Um, desktop. I this doesn't matter really. Just for what we're gonna do, create the project. Wait for it to open, and while that product is opening, um, you can go to tiny.one or slash UE Marketplace. And yes, okay, I'll admit it, this is a total self plug. However, all of my asset packs have this really cool, really customizable material. That lets you control metalness, roughness, normal depth, color, however you want. You can customize it however you want. And the cheapest way, the cheapest deal for you right now is to check out my store and grab yourself any of the assets. Right? Anything that came out 2022 to now. Um, they have a where they have a customizable material that you can use to create your own color schemes however you want. Once you've bought one of your assets, you're going to open it in Unreal, open the material graph. Um, the Rainia Robots pack is probably going to be the one you want to get because it has all three of my parent materials in it. It has my gloss material, it has my solid mesh material, and my Tiling Emissive material. All three, super customizable to whatever color you want, whatever roughness you want. And this way you can add your own unique look to any assets you buy on, on Sketchfab or any other places wherever you bought the asset you downloaded. So, I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. All right, so once you bought the asset, um, just search for it in your asset library. I have a ton of stuff down here. Um, so I'm gonna have to search for it. Radiant Robots. Okay, add to project. Type in the name of your project, select the project, add to project. Wait for it to download. It doesn't have to be the Radiant Robots pack. It can be any of them. I'm just saying Radiant Robots pack has all the materials all the base materials that I use for all my projects. So you're probably gonna get the most out of it. It also has three robots and they're all animated. Once the full version of Fab rolls out, I think you should be able to use those in Fortnite. I'm not sure. Cause right now I'm kind of unsure what's gonna happen to all my assets right now. But you can also buy them on Sketchfab and um, here in the marketplace and the art station store. So, or CG Trader. We're gonna open this, go to, we're gonna filter it out by material, open radiant robot, radiant robot underscore parent, 
And once that graph is open, we're going to zoom out all the way and we're going to marquee select the whole thing, click and drag, and control C, control C to copy it. And then we're going to close this out, open Unreal Editor for Fortnite again. All right, let's go back to the helmet. All right, so open the graph and we can just delete all this stuff. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Move over here. Just gonna move that over here. And now we're going to control V. And there's like that. We're going to hook up the ambient occlusion nodes that are down here to ambient occlusion, the normal nodes to normal, and which one is this one? The emissive that goes hooked up to emissive. This is the roughness cluster. So we're gonna hook up the roughness to roughness, the metal output to metal, and finally the base color to base color. We're gonna apply those changes. Oh, right. Uh, before you apply, you wanna go back and apply all the textures. Don't worry if you're missing a texture like I do right here. I have a mask texture. Um, that's just how all my assets operate. We're gonna put base color and base color. Ambient occlusion and ambient occlusion, or AO to AO. Roughness to, hold on. Where's roughness? Right, roughness at the bottom. Roughness to roughness. Normal to normal. Metal to metal, mask to mask, and we don't really have an emissive map, so we're just going to leave that empty. Oh, well, just so it compiles, I'll just put the opacity there. Um, that's not going to affect it. Emissive is off by default. So we now we apply changes. We're going to shift control s to save. Shift control s or just press the save button and we're going to open the folder window and we're going to right click on it and create material instance. So I'm going to name this M underscore helmet default and I'm just going to drag onto that and we're going to turn all these parameters on. See, there's quite a few. Um, don't worry if you don't have the mask texture. That's just the system all my assets operate on. If you bought the thing, you might you'll be able to see how it works with all those materials on. And just click all these things on. Save it, and. Just give you a quick rundown on how this works. So once you have the all the stuff set up, you can just you know adjust the saturation by moving this slider here. Saturation, color hue shift to change the colors a bit. There's, see, you can pick the colors like that. Um, let's put this back to default. Um, and once you have your mask connected, you can turn on one, one, one to set it to true. Those are the default colors, don't worry about it. And we can pick colors for that. Kind of cool. Diablo helmet. And you can still use the color shift node. Oh wait, that's the saturation. Um, color shift and you can keep on picking whatever you want same for the roughness just turn on the mask of the metalness turn on the mask turn the metal turn that to metal yeah so. you can control all these properties just like that uh, the normal depth 
the lower you go, the deeper it is. And the higher you go, the more protruding it is. So I usually just leave that at the default value. I think that's a sweet spot. Um, once again, you can check the roughness ones on. And now you can make it, you can pick how shiny it is. Look at that. See that? But yeah, I use a setup for everything. You can get it just by buying one of my packs. And, you know, you can also watch this video I made going in depth about on how it works. Um, but for now, this is it. You've set up your first Unreal Engine asset in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. So with that, see you later. And I hope this has been helpful. I've been using Unreal Engine for a long time. So, you know, people coming into Fortnite Editor is going to be a really good way of just getting that information out there to more people. Um, but yeah, thanks and go wild.